Hey there everyone and welcome back to more Silent Hill 2 and welcome to the Blook Haven Hospital. Yeah, there was a, a bit of a spelling mistake in the original version of Silent Hill 2 where they misspelled Brookhaven. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. They actually did manage to fix that in Silent Hill 3, but yeah, we've already got the map for the area. And as I uh, pretty much did in the apartments, I'm going to be starting off by searching as much of the first floor as possible. Thankfully, the reception area is the first accessible room. Uh, there is some interesting bits here and there, even though it's not really gone over as much in Silent Hill as it is in Silent Hill 3, I should say. Uh, but there is some information on some of the patients that were actually admitted to Brookhaven. It appears that uh, this was actually a mental institution, as opposed to what I initially thought this to be, which was Alchemia Hospital, which is in a different area of Silent Hill altogether in the hospital that Harry Mason visits during Silent Hill 1, which is also where Alyssa had been imprisoned, for lack of a better term. But yeah, um, if you just want to pause this at your own leisure and read this over, basically there's been a lot of cases of guilt and violence and people being admitted for such things at the hospital. Also with the confined quarters here, it starts to become more and more of an issue with Maria being nearby, especially if you're wanting to make sure and get one of, uh, one of the particular endings, basically shoving Maria, even by accident, will start to uh, count against you for that particular ending. But we found a bit of writing here from one of the doctors, we can assume, talking about some other side, which uh, we've actually... we haven't run across yet in this particular game, but if, uh, if you played Silent Hill 1, uh, it was first run across in the school, basically where you kind of enter a alternate reality of sorts where things are nightmarish to say the least but uh, the doctor was uh, basically putting forth the idea that maybe what we see as reality is more of a nightmare to a person than what uh, what the actual nightmare reality is to us so it it just br I guess he was questioning more or less whether or not it was right for them to be trying to bring uh, I guess Joseph back into our own reality and out of his uh, little dream world that he had put himself in. We also get uh, the pul purple bowl key. As to what the actual imagery of the purple bowl has to represent, I'm not exactly sure. I was trying to find some more you know explanations about it or. Something of that nature, but uh, even trying to examine it or look in the or try it, yeah, trying to examine it, you'll see there's not really an option to do so. It's just kind of a weird looking, uh, weird looking key card with a bull on it. Hopefully, maybe somebody in the thread will uh, be able to point me more in the direction of what the symbolism might mean. Maybe it is masculinity or who knows. But for right now, a lot of the first floor is actually locked off to us. It's it uh, so well since this is a mental institution more or less. Um, yeah, there it wasn't really meant for public use and just public visitors. So I guess it's kind of understandable that you have a lot of security down here. And also the elevators are pretty much out for right now, so by ac accessing this door over here, we are now able to enter the stairwell. And first off, the basement is locked off to us. So going along with normal progression, let's go ahead and head up to the second floor. Already on the second floor, we are greeted with a returning enemy from Silent Hill 1 and quite a few other Silent Hill games, the nurse, 
Uh, the nurse in this game only ever comes equipped with the pipe. There is another variant of nurse we'll be seeing later on, but for right now, the hospital is pretty much... Uh, it's filled more so than the, uh, the apartments were with enemies. And especially in these tight quarters and the fact that you're now having to take care of Maria, it's it's especially good that we got that pipe as uh, as you can see since I haven't been able to show off combat with the pipe its main advantage is that it has a superior uh, length I suppose than our reach I should say in comparison to the enemies we're gonna have to face so with that little poking action you can pretty much keep your enemies at bay while doing enough damage to them I don't think bikini ladies are stupid, but I can understand that uh, that James might be a little bit preoccupied. And from that dirty lab coat, we were able to secure a key to the examination room. We'll be using that in just a second, but I want to go ahead and check out as much of the second floor as I can. Ow! What's wrong? I just pricked myself. Are you okay? Yeah. Now, while the men's locker room had a fairly important key, I'd say the women's locker room had something even more important, which was a new weapon for us, the shotgun. The shotgun we'll actually be seeing quite a bit of use of by the end of this particular video, but I won't actually be using it too much, just because for right now we're still kind of lacking in ammo for it. As opposed to the handgun, which I think we're now in like two or three hundred bullets for. And the camera just is not wanting to work with me at all. Well, that's okay because uh, the the nurses can be a bit of a problem, but by now the mannequins, especially with the reach of the pipe, you're you're never really gonna have to worry about them actually getting close enough to you if you know how to attack properly. But now that we are kind of getting into the separate cells slash, slash rooms of each one of the patients, we'll start to see some individuality to each one of the rooms that we can get into. Like this particular one has a typewriter. And initially, James doesn't seem to think that there's anything important about the typewriter, but there is a piece of carbon paper which has left an imprint of what had been previously typed in there. And on that carbon paper, most importantly, is a four-digit number, which we'll be using for a, for a puzzle later on. Now, the interesting thing about Brookhaven is that its initial purpose, uh, when it was built, apparently, back during the Civil War time, was to house... Um, plague victims, more or less. Um, there was apparently a very large epidemic during the Civil War, which killed quite a few people, which is mentioned here and there around the town, and I think will be mentioned more later on. But uh, we actually just picked up a key there, which is also part of the puzzle that that four-digit code was a part of. As to why it uh, apparently has the Eye of Ra on it, if that seems to be what that is and why it has a particular blue stone in it, I'm not very certain, but I'm sure somebody with uh, better symbolism knowledge will know. But yeah, uh, basically, after the initial settlers of Silent Hill seemed to get out of town and leave everything behind, so too did Brookhaven fall into disrepair until much later on. 
whenever the town was being resettled and apparently another epidemic started up. So otherwise after that Brookhaven kind of fell into disuse and I guess they started to use it as a as a mental institution even though initially that wasn't uh, it wasn't its actual use. Oddly enough, though, in yet again going back to the Silent Hill movie, uh, Brookhaven was actually the hospital that Alyssa was shown to be residing in and trapped in in the movie, which actually is not correct. That was Alchemia. But with that room cleared out, we are now pretty much done with the second floor. And normally I would actually head up to the third floor, but I know ahead of time that there's going to be a bit of a barrier to us really exploring the third floor. And for that, we're actually going to need to head back down to the first floor. And by using, using the examination room key, we are able to get into a very small office. Nothing really is in here outside of giving you a nice opportunity to shove Maria if you wanted to. And from the examination room, we are now in, I think, what is pretty much a general break room for the staff. Nice little box of shotgun shells there and a nice little memo 